Hello, and welcome back to Simply Solo Playthroughs. I'm the Chipmunk Gamer, and we're here today to play Imperial Assault, The Return to Hoth. And so I don't make the same mistake I made last time, we're just going to put this right up here. So I don't put anything there, so I won't be having the dice there. We start this off with a... We start this off with an ally encounter. Is that all we can do is one place? Here we go. This forgotten planet is the home of the idyllic mountain village haven. Select a briefing. It takes a village. Having escaped Hoth in an Imperial shuttle, you head to a small mountain village on the planet Ison, where you hope to find temporary refu refuge until you can rejoin the rebel feet. Begin encounter. It takes a village. You drop out of hyperspace and head toward the planet. After reaching the atmosphere, Talcan directs you to the coordinates for Haven. Benex and I grew up together, she says. When our city was raised by the Empire, I left to join the Alliance. Benex wanted to get away from the fighting. Ah, uh, war's not for everyone. Talkin nods appreciatively. Exactly. I fight so that people like Benex do not have to. The lieutenant points out the viewport. Looks like we're here. Land the ship. You land the shuttle, taking note of the simple structures that dot the mountain's base. Children play in a nearby meadow while the residents move about their daily routine. A small group approaches this ship with a middle-aged woman in the lead. Greet the villagers. As you head down the ramp of the stolen shuttle, the woman addresses you. You clearly aren't Imperials. What brings you to the middle of nowhere? A smile grows on the woman's face as the lieutenant emerges from the ship. Myra? Myra Talcon? You must be Benex. It seems reputation precedes me, Benex replies. Talcon finishes inter introductions and you explain the si situation. Benex nods in understanding. I will provide assistance in any way I can. But if the Empire realizes you're here, you endanger all my people. She gestures for you to follow her. Follow Benex. Benex walks you through the small village, stopping to occasionally answer questions from other villagers. When my people were oppressed under the Empire, I had nowhere to go. I set up Haven as a place where people can live in peace, away from the violence. Continue. She ushers you into a large hut, where a smell of cooked meat and spices fills the air. There will be plenty of time for more questions, Benex says, but for now, eat something. You can find me in the village when you need me. Thank you. Thank you. You finish eating and head back to the shuttle. Continue. You go through the hold, scavenging anything useful. Each hero tests. Okay, anything useful? Talcan checks the Nava computer data, discovering that General Soren has made numerous trips to Shomolga. Sholakana? and alien Aline in recent months. You also find an encrypted log in the ship's computer. Test. So here we go. We're going to test. Oh, we have something to test with. Uh, no. 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 Oh, bummer. I thought we had something to test with. Okay, so we're going to have a blue and a green. A blue and a red. A blue and a green. And blue and green. Ah, I'm going to have to re-roll one. Okay, so here we go. There we go. Okay. So that's one, two, three, four. 
confirm. You manage to slice your way into the system and access the logs. The list of entries is long, but two catch your attention. Shield research and weapon field test. You gain five fame. Let's take a look at the shield entry. Holographic image of General Soren springs to life. His voice filling the cockpit. The latest tests are very promising. The shield system is proving very is proving extremely effective against all conventional weapons, but continues to draw too much power. Yeah, that's always a problem. Once that hurdle is overcome, I can adapt this technology to other vehicles or even starfighters. Then the Emperor will finally recognize my brilliance. Access weapon entry. A transport blue image of General Soren appears before you. Excitement in his eyes. I have just returned from the field site. The weapon test was a complete success. Yield needs to be increased and tested again, but I am confident we will be able to get in production soon. Let's consult with Talkin. Talkin is visibly concerned by your findings. If those tanks are near completion, we need to act now, she says. We can't wait to take this information back to command. Follow up these leads and I will work on getting in contact with high command. We need backup. Agreed. You take talk with Benix about leaving Talcum behind. Of course she is welcome to stay as long as she needs. With a plan in place, you launch the shuttle and leave Talcum and the small village behind. Continue. Hmm. We could just go to deep space and call it a day. Let's go to Shulgana. The shadowy forest that blanket Shulgana are home to a vicious ambush, ambush predator. The Nexu. Select a briefing. No ally available. Thanks. The nav computer on Soren's shuttle indicates he has visited. Shulnaga multiple times recently. You need to find out why. Begin mission. This doesn't look very hoffy. Hmm. Okay, so I'm going to go on ahead and we're going to take a quick little break. I'm going to go on ahead and set up and we will be right back. All right, we're back and continue. Dim shadows in the dark play tricks on your eyes. Place 10 neutral tokens. These are shadows. Select neutral mission token now. Neutral mission tokens are shadows. During a hero's activation, that hero can suffer one strain uh, to test insight and then inspect each shadow within X spaces where X is that hero's result okay so select the shadow inspect it in the app continue you are beginning to wonder if Soren is simply sightseeing here when a shot flies from a seemingly nowhere and passes over Diala Pasal's head place the regular elite HK droid cards on the table near the map and place these group figures on their associated card. These figures are attacking you from the shadows and must find them in order to defeat them. Oh, wonderful. Okay, so they are out. One and one. And Continue. Snipers aren't your only problem, though several more attackers come bursting out from the jungle. Continue. You prepare to fight. Deploy the rebels. 
Continue. Clearly these mercenaries are protecting something out here. You resolve to search the area to find out what the secrets they are protecting. As soon as you have dealt with the immediate threats. Objective updated. Inspect the shadows to discover what Soren was doing here. Okay, so we have the trash hunters that we're going to have to deal with first. One, two, three. Hmm, that's kind of cool. She gets to hit him right off the bat without moving. That's not necessarily bad. Finn can shoot the other one. Okay, so I think we're going to start with Diala. And she's just going to do a reach. Um, she's going to reach out and touch somebody. I'll continue. Okay, round one. Yeah, she's just going to reach out and uh, give him a little love tap. She has a green and a yellow. Versus, I'm assuming, a black. May not have been the best choice there, but it is what it is. I just realized I had to take a look at this. Okay, you'll notice I have new counters. I'm in the process of making these for everybody. Kind of cool. I like them. There we go. Oh, yeah. Okay, but she has a pierce, too. So, uh, uh, so this is not necessarily bad. But trash hunters have six health. Stun looks good. Exist this. Well, apply a plus one to the attack result. I don't think that's going to make a difference. So we will do a stun. So he only gets one movement. We'll just kind of put that in the middle because I have a feeling a lot of people are going to get stunned. And he takes a grand total of... That's out. It really isn't going to make a difference here. Um, he gets a block regardless. Okay. So that's the end of her first action. She is going to take one strain. Two strain. And she is going to. Okay, she's only going to take one strain. Uh, during the hero's activation, that hero can suffer one strain to test insight and then inspect each shadow with an X spaces. Okay, so she is going to take the second strain. She's going to move here. Because then we're one and two. And her insight is hopefully really good. A blue, a green, and a yellow. Yellow is not very helpful, but that's okay. And we get zero. So we don't get to inspect any. Very good. Very good, Diala. That was a win. That was a grandiose win for you. Okay, so that's the end of Diala's activation. Trash Hunters, regular. Move forward to attack the closest, healthiest rubble. They both will move one. And 
they will go on ahead and attack with a blue and a green versus a white. Okay, so the first one, which is the one under stunned, does one damage, and that is all. Oh, he's out of here. Okay, um, that takes care of his turn. Then the other one, number two, has moved now is going to attack again and pierce two so we'll take two damage and that is the end of his and move one to reposition two and that is the end of their turn and stun token is gone One, two, okay, she's gonna have to flat out do a movement. What's her insight? Blue and red. Okay, so we're gonna go on ahead and take Finn. Finn is going to start with a shot right here uh, because he's not close enough, we can't do a Havoc shot, so that stinks. So we'll have blue and green versus a black. And we'll take two damage. That's number, oh, not five points. They're on the wrong side of each other. Trash takes two. And Finn is going to He's just going to go ahead and shoot the same one. One, two, three, four does three damage. Do you have anything good here? Hang on. Oh. We will deplete the dis overcharger. So remove this. Should have done that to begin with. That's four. So that's a total of six. And this one's out. Good job. Okay, Finn is... Just gonna fend. He's no, he's not. He is going to take two strain. One, two. He will then recover the one strain from Lone Wolf, so he only gets one because he's separated. And this is gonna allow Gideon, right? One, two, three. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. Okay, that's the end of Finn's turn. The starter group's activation. Each figure on the group's card performs an attack. Targeting the he healthy hero that has suffered the least damage. These attacks ignore accuracy and line of sight. Suffered the least damage. Figures on this group card performs only the bonus. This group's figures on map only. Okay, so all they're going to do is take a shot. Ow. Blue, blue, yellow. And they're going to start after Finn. And they will. Oh, shoot, I forgot to roll Finn. Oh, 
Okay, so they ignore accuracy, line of sight. Okay, so they are just going to, I guess we're going to take a week in here. Okay, so that's that one out. Plus one. Pierce one. Two damage. And the second one will attack Verna. And Verna has a black. Wow. Okay, so good news, this is out. She'll take weaken and three damage. Finish. Oh, no she doesn't, it's just the one. What's his insight? Blue, green, yellow. We're going to go ahead and move him four. We're going to test his insight. Blue, green, yellow. I know that wasn't quite what I thought I was going to do. Three. Okay, so we can get test both of these we get to look at. A dark light out into trees could be anything. This is shadow. Select a ne neutral mission token rule to see how to inspect the shadow. Okay, inspect. And we get one. Regular. Oh, we do have the, the uh, continue. Inspect. Cash and Merc supplies. Okay, so there's that. Continue. That ends his turn, unfortunately. Okay, so we are still going, to, he gets to take the shot. Blue, green, yellow versus a black. Still going to go after Verna. So Verna does get the weekend. And a plus one. Okay. And let me take a look at the weekend card. While attacking, apply a minus one and a minus one at the end of your activation. Okay, so it is Verna's turn. 
unfortunately she is weakened she is going to take two strain she will attack the assassin droid just the regular he has five health So she will use the Vibro Knife, which is a green and a green. Or we can use the Military Blaster. But that's going to put, I can put bleed on that, so I kind of like that. Here we go. We're attacking with a Vibro Knife. Ugh. We're going to take the... I think we'll take the Pierce 2. And give the standard one a that is finish in round two. Hmm. I don't think he can. She can hit him. Okay. Do I want to get rid of the trash or the assassin droid? I think the known assassin droid is going to be the better one to get rid of. Finn is going to go and hench shoot the assassin droid, which is a blue and a green, if I recall correctly, versus a black. So one damage, two damage. Oh. Oh, oh, we're going to use the overcharger to get rid of that. So we're going to do one, two damage. That's four total. And we will go ahead and use uh, this to... That really doesn't make a difference. I would have killed him with or without that die of roll. Uh, plus one. That's five. He is out. So, goodbye, Assassin Droid. You cannot defeat the Assassin Droid group until there is no associated figures on the group's card and none on the map. Oh, there's supposed to be two sets out there. Okay. Continue. Okay, we're going to go on ahead and... Oh, and even with the weakened condition, it wouldn't have made a difference. Whew. What can we 
do? What can we do? We can move one, two, we're just going to have normal movement to four here. Right? Four. So we're going to take the four. We're still within three of Gideon. We will take our lone wolf. We will go on ahead and... We will... No, these are not defeated. He is defeated. Okay, there we go. That's the end of his turn. Trash Hunters. Each group figure in this group gains plus one. <laughs> okay, move five to attack the healthiest rubble which will be Gideon. Blue and, yep. That's out. Pierce two, three damage total. Move four to reposition two. Yeah, that would be correct. Okay. Finish. One, two, three, four. Okay, Diala can move four. One, two. One, two, Okay, she is going to go on, Diala's going to go ahead and move one, two, three, four, and is going to go after the trash hunter. She has a green and yellow versus a black. Nice. And she gets to... She will exhaust the balanced tilt, which while attacking apply a plus one to attack results. So she is going to stun and does a plus one damage. So that's a two, three, two, three. So three points total. Not bad. That's the end of her turn. The elite. So we're just going to attack the healthiest rebel, which will be Verna. And it's, uh, Green, blue, yellow. Green, blue, yellow versus a black. Okay. Wow. Oh, that's gone. As is that.
she gets a weaken. Plus one. One, two, three, four. Total of five. Okay, that is, but there are two of those. And they will attack Gideon. So Gideon is going to get weakened. And they do three damage. We're going to go on through these med packs really fast. That's it. Finish. Okay, so there's only one of the other assassin droids left. So that's going to actually help with being able to deal with all this. Gideon is going to go on ahead and use command. And allow Diala to go on ahead and take an action. She is going to hit upside the head. Black. Okay, so that's going to be two damage and two Okay. She doesn't have anything else. Okay, so two three damage. Six to Trashton Hunter, so he is out. Plus seventeen. Gideon will move one. No, he will strain one. There we go. He'll strain one and check the box. Interact. Draw two supply cards. Okay. Here are my supply cards. And we'll scroll down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Draw two. One, two. <clears throat> Com link. Discard this card that started a round to choose and exhaust a regular deployment card. Yeah. Back then, fashion. Disregard this card during your activation to choose yourself or an adjacent friendly figure. This figure recovers three and may discard one or more harmful conditions. He is going to discard that right now. So that's going back into the supply deck. Harmful condition. Oh, harmful condition was gone anyway. And he gets three back. Oh, and he has the laminate armor, so one went away anyway. Okay. Two 
continue. End of Gideon's turn. We're going to go on ahead and attack again. No accuracy line of sight is needed. And they're going to probably attack Gideon. Ouch. Two. Three. Disregard that so it's only three damage and he gets his five back. Oh well, that didn't last very long, but at least he's not at eight. Finish. Oh, there's two of them. So they will attack Diala. Okay, Diala takes a weaken. Four damage. I have to get these shadows. Hold it. That was regular. There's only one regular. And she doesn't have this. Okay, good. Okay, she is going to move. One, two, three, four. She is going to test her blue and a red. One. So we get to inspect the shadow. You have found a hiding. Deploy one of the elite assassin droids. That's good. Okay, continue. I don't think she can do anything else at this point. She loses the weekend. And that's the end of her activation. Round three. Well, thank you for coming. I hope that you will like and subscribe. I hope you have enjoyed this. Please come again later and watch the next episode. We'll start right out with round three. And I hope you have an absolutely great day. Please like and subscribe.